Hey guys, welcome back to the channel techbase.org and this is the part 3, the final part of this Nginx uh, short course, okay? So in our part 1 and part 2, we just saw how to set up uh, and install and configure the Nginx and in part 2 of the video, we just saw how you can secure your Nginx web server and this is part 3, which is an important, um, a key feature which is available in Nginx and which today a lot of industries are uh, using this uh, feature, okay? Which is uh, a reverse proxy and a load balancer, okay? So what is this reverse proxy? and load balancer and how nginx we can use for this purpose okay so let's take a look at reverse proxy first so basically reverse proxy is something which sits in between a client and a server okay so the reverse proxy normally sit in front of the server so it will interpret all the incoming requests from the client okay so for example if a client is requesting for information from a server uh, it will go via the reverse proxy and the reverse proxy will forward the information i mean the request to the origin server then similarly when the server respond with the information the server will respond it to the nginx reverse proxy and the reverse proxy will send the response to the client okay so this is the main purpose of reverse proxy okay so what is the point so why i need to have a reverse proxy uh, rather than making the client directly talk to a server and get response okay so these are all some of the use cases of a reverse proxy okay a reverse proxy normally sits in front of a server and can act as a load balancer okay so in this uh, scenario so basically if you have one server we call it uh, a reverse proxy basically it's a direct reverse proxy so if we have multiple servers i will just show you in my next slide if we have multiple servers this nginx uh, reverse proxy can act as a load balancer and can balance all the loads between the servers okay based on the uh, methods which we uh, specify okay then uh, the second thing is it protects the origin server okay so in our case this is the origin server it protects the origin server from attacks okay by hiding its ip addresses okay so the ip address of the server is not always uh, visible because reverse proxy is just sitting in front of the server and it is serving all the clients okay so in that way the server is always uh, safe and secure so it provides some sort of security okay so then reverse proxy can catch the content okay so basically all the for example if a client is asking uh, some frequent information from the server this reverse proxy can help to catch the content and can serve the clients faster last but not least the reverse proxy can provide ssl encryption and decryption to and from the server okay because a single origin server cannot handle all these encryption and decryption process if there are multiple multiple clients are around and they are requesting or hitting the same uh, server so in that case reverse proxy will help to handle such encryption and decryption so it will help to decrypt all the incoming requests from the client and it will help to encrypt all the outgoing messages okay so in this way uh, reverse proxy can um, help us then uh, the second thing is the load balancer so what is the difference for example a uh, reverse difference between this reverse proxy and a load balancer when there is only one server it's a direct reverse proxy when we have multiple servers a reverse proxy can act as a load balancer so here we are going to uh, in this video we are going to configure our nginx as both reverse proxy and also as a load balancer okay so when a client is requesting something to the load balancer um, the load balancer will uh, balance the load i mean just to across the servers okay for example here i have three servers and the load uh, the load of the clients will be forwarded to each servers based on the methods uh, or the type of uh, load balancing option which we specify then the server will respond back to the client via this uh, uh, load balance okay so as i said uh, there are some load balancing options available in nginx okay for example it's a round robin so basically it's a default uh, load balancing method for example uh, the client will uh, the server it will choose based on uh, just like a round robin for example when a client requests information first it will uh, go to server one and second request will go to server two and third request will go to server three then fourth request will go to server one and it's like a round robin okay so then uh, second uh, option is a least connections okay so the server which is having the least connection okay will pick up the request okay so if you go with this option the server with the least connection uh, 
will respond to the client and third option is uh, ip hashing what does it mean so this ip hashing is uh, basically to establish a session persistence okay for example uh, it will it will be uh, choosing the server based on the client's ip address for example this client is having some x dot x dot x dot x some ip address and this uh, for example the first request is going to some server one or server two or server three so then uh, basically based on the ip address the second request will always follow the uh, the same uh, server okay so uh, only when the server is dead or something happen it will switch to second server so always this is mainly to establish the contents will be served from the same server for the same client with the same ip address okay so in this way uh, there are uh, we can load balance our uh, requests and a response the server loads okay so this is some of the uh, key feature of this uh, nginx so uh, let's get our hands uh, dirty and i will show you how you can set up uh, nginx as a reverse proxy and load balancer let's go okay so now i'm in my ubuntu machine so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to uh, uh, log in as a root user so just uh, sudo su will make you as a root user and give you all the root privileges and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take you to the um, configuration folder as i said so cd slash etc conf dot uh, d sorry under nginx uh, conf dot d okay so so here uh, techbeast dot local dot conf is our configuration file so if you uh, miss part one and part two i strongly advise you guys to take a look and come back so that you will get a proper flow okay so then um, let me just uh, take you to the configuration file so whatever we are going to do uh, with this nginx you have to change in this configuration file so nano techbeast dot local dot con so i am inside my configuration file so basically i have just uh, uh, commented out uh, some of the uh, some of the lines which we are not gonna use for uh, this nginx uh, reverse proxy and load balancing video okay so so basically now uh, what we are going to do is we are just going to add a new module called upstream so basically this upstream uh, module is the one which uh, we need uh, to configure uh, to make nginx as a reverse proxy or as a load balancer okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create an upstream module so basically the upstream uh, for upstream you can give uh, any name for this for example here i'm just going to use uh, my uh, for example uh, my app is gonna run in port 3000 okay so I'm just going to give uh, app 3000 okay and what I'm going to do is I am just going to give the IP address uh, of my uh, application which is running in the server so here uh, so before I type in the IP address I just want to tell so in this uh, video I'm just running a simple node.js application which is a simple website of uh, a website which is uh, running in port 3000 okay so now I'm just going to uh, uh, make this uh, nginx serve the content of this uh, port 3000 or uh, the application which is running in port 3000 as a uh, to serve as a uh, reverse proxied uh, site okay so here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh, key in the uh, ip address and port number of the uh, application okay so here uh, upstream uh, my upstream name is app underscore 3000 it can be anything and the application which we are going to show is 127.0.1 means basically it's running in the same machine on port 3000 okay so now uh, let me straight away take you to uh, the location so now what we are going to do is we are just going to add a location for proxy for example uh, location slash proxy okay so this proxy location what it will basically do is uh, we need to serve the site so you need to add the command proxy pass okay so http colon slash slash it's your upstream name so app underscore 3000 okay so basically this is the configuration a simple configuration we are going to do for reverse proxying so now basically what it will do is so when you go to the site uh, with your uh, ip address slash proxy so it will uh, take the request directly to the upstream server and the upstream server will respond via this reverse proxy okay via this nginx reverse proxy okay so now let me just save this and you can always check the configuration of your nginx file by typing nginx dash t my configuration looks okay and we just need to reload systemctl reload 
and nginx okay so now uh, let me take you guys to the site okay so this is the ip address of my uh, machine and nginx is successfully running and what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to type slash proxy so when i type slash proxy you see you can see uh, the beautiful website which is this app is running on port 3000 and the current time okay so this is a simple welcome page powered by nginx okay so it's just a reverse proxy uh, to understand the concept okay so so that's it so, so in this way you can uh, use uh, nginx as a reverse proxy and uh, make it sit in front of your server and you can serve contents okay so now what is the difference between load balancer and a reverse proxy so the configuration module is still the same we are going to use the same upstream module just that we need to add more servers into it so to make it uh, a load balance properly okay so let me just uh, go to this uh, configuration file and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create another upstream. Okay. With the option uh, round robin. Okay. That's the default uh, load balancing option. So here inside, what you're going to do is we are just going to add multiple servers. Okay. So, so that the request will be sent to each and every individual server once. Okay. I think I didn't copy properly. So let me just copy this server and let me just paste it here and once again i'm gonna paste and i'm gonna paste once again i'm running basically three uh applications in my local machine okay so each uh just for this uh video uh, what we are going to do is we are just going to run three application each running in each port number so okay so that you can understand the load balancing concepts and how this reverse proxy is working and similarly i'm just gonna add another location so location slash round robin and what we are going to do is just going to do the same proxy pass http colon slash slash round robin okay that's great so now uh, similarly your load balancer will uh, use this upstream server and it will serve accordingly okay so each time when you make a request it will go to first 3000 then second request will go to 3001 and third request will go to the application running in port 3002 okay so let's check it out so let me save the configuration file okay so i can check my configuration is correct or not it looks fine and let me system ctl reload nginx okay that's great so let me take you to the site and i'm gonna change this url to round robin okay cool okay so the thing we need to observe here is so now the application is uh, the application which is running in port 3000 okay the server is serving this uh, uh, application so now when i refresh the page you can see now it's going to server 2 okay which is running in port 3000 okay so third when i refresh now it's going to uh, the application and serving the application which is running in 3002 so in this way your application will be load balanced in a round robin fashion okay so that's how this round robin works and it's a default uh, load balancing method available in nginx okay so the second thing i uh, told you is a least connection right so what we are going to do is uh, let me just uh, go to the configuration file and we can create another upstream i'm just going to create this uh, just copy paste for convenience and okay i'm just gonna paste again okay so now what we're gonna do is we're just going to change the upstream name accordingly it can be anything so this is for least con so i'm just going to give least connection and this is for ip hashing so let me just give ip hash okay okay so now you need to specify uh the configuration file that you are gonna you're just telling the uh, nginx to use the least connection uh, method to serve the contents okay so let me just type least underscore con okay so this will make the connection to serve as a least connection to choose the least connection option and then ip underscore hash this will uh, make the uh, application so uh, use the ip hash method okay so always uh, uh, the clients ip based on the client's ip address it will always uh, go and uh, get a response from the same server okay so let me just go to another location uh, add uh, two more locations to to uh, verify this uh, ip hashing and the uh, least connection so location slash least con okay 
so let me just open it and what I'm gonna do is same stuff what we need to do is we need to type proxy pause HTTP colon slash slash and we just type least con okay that's great so then we add another location for our IP hash location slash IP hash and open brand close brace and you need to make a proxy pause proxy pass HTTP colon slash slash IP hash okay okay cool so now uh, there are three uh, load balancing methods we have defined one is round robin and one is least connection and one is IP hash okay so let's go and check it out so let me save the configuration and uh, you can always check the configuration by typing nginx t my configuration file looks okay so system ctl reload nginx okay that's great so now let me go to the site okay so since we already verified round robin so now i'm gonna show you guys the least con option so least con okay when i type least con you see uh, it's serving the port uh, 3000 the server which is running in port 3000 and when i just reload it's showing 3001 and when i reload it's showing 3002 because all the servers there is nothing or we are i'm the only one who is requesting and there is no uh, extra connections in the server so basically it sticks to the round robin and it makes sense okay so in that way uh, you can normally run any uh, any of your node.js or some python applications or whatever as a server which you want to serve uh, to the clients uh, through this reverse proxy or as a load balancing option okay so now uh, let me show you guys the ip hashing option so for example ip hash when i type ip hash the server will record uh, the, the connection is uh, as i said the connection is always um, is, is a session persistence okay so now here you, as you see uh, the server which is the application which the server is running which is running in port 3002 is serving uh, the client for example my laptop okay so it has recorded the ip address of my laptop and it is serving uh, from the uh, server which is running in port 3002 so now when i refresh you see the port is not changing because it's it will always serve from the same server okay so that is the advantage of using uh, ip hash okay so let's say if the server is dead or something happened then it may switch to another server okay so so these are all the different options available in nginx uh, nginx uh, load balancers and you can configure according to your needs okay so thanks for watching guys if you like my videos uh, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and uh, like the videos which you like and please just go and try this nginx option in your personal projects or some of your um, open source projects which you are building uh, during holidays or weekends so feel free to comment and stay safe let's learn from everyone and teach for everyone and make technology easy peasy okay so thanks for watching guys